Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I have an interesting question from my colleague regarding overload bit on IGP. So what happen when he enable overload bit on any of the transit router where the LSP is passing through? So even I know the answers, I thought of doing the lab before sharing the result with him. Also I have recorded the lab session so that it will be useful for the community. Let's quickly go through what is meant by an overload bit. So basically when a node or router require repair or a restart or for any other reason like you want to do an upgrade, the overload bit in the IGP is a great tool for diverting away from the router. So what I'm going to do in today's session, I will analyze the overload bit from ISIS protocol as well as the impact of the overload bit on the transit device by the LSP MPLS pass through. This is the topology that I built for my testing. So, so you can consider. So R1 is my LSP ingress router. Just give me a minute. Yes, go ahead. Go ahead now. So you consider this is my LSP ingress router. So I'm going to create an LSP from R1 to R6. So I'm, go I'm already made the necessary configurations and as per the metric, the primary LSP R1, R4, R6, and secondary LSP. As when consider the longer path, so it might go via R1 to R2 to R5. Choose either R4 or R7. Okay, so the metric that I calculate is 10 here, 10 and I tweak the air to 20 so that it always prefer this path than this path as a CSPF. I didn't give any strict path. Okay, so the loopback that I used for the IP is with 1.0.0.0 1 slash 32 for R1, R1 for R2. It is 2.0.0.1 slash 32 and it goes like that 3.0.0.1 slash 32. So this is the loop back. So I'm testing this with the Juniper routers. So as you can see it's all BMX. So what I'm going to do on R4 is my transit router and I'm going to enable overload bit. So in overload bit, there are two options is available. One is overload bit and second one in ISS. So I'm targeting the ISS today, not OSPF. So in ISS, we have overload bit. And second is when you configure overload bit, you can set a high metric. So I'm going to do first overload bit followed by overload bit high metric option. Let's quickly jump onto the lab. As you can see. as the content lab topology
these are my alternator IP address right so what I'm going to do I'm going to jump into R4 first R1 here so I can do an SSH from here So let me clone the session. Let me clone the session. Okay. You can see how the adjacency formed. As you can see in my routing table, you can see all the IPs are available here. Okay. So I'm going to form an LMPLS LSP with 6.0.0.1. So I'm going to give DJ. Yes. So as you can see, the current path that as per the topology, it is 4.4 and 6.6. .6. So let me quickly tell you, it's via 4.4 and 6.6. .6. So let me quickly show you the configuration. Yeah, this is the configuration. So now I didn't use anything on the primary part. Primary part is empty as per the CSPF calculation. Okay. This is the ISIS configuration with level two enabled. This is the complete topology is enabled with level two and MPLS and RSVP is enabled along with CSPF. So now our ISIS is up and MPLS is up. So what I'm going to do next, I'm gonna quickly configure overload bit. As I mentioned, there are two options. One is the I overload and another option is an overload advertise high metric. So I'm going to do an overload now for the first testing. So I'm going to quickly check in R1. So ISIS database. So as you can quickly see, the database that we have the overload bit is set means do not pass the traffic via me. So that's the point of R4. So, so it has the overload bit set already now. So let's see what happened to the LSP from R1 to R6. Show out for MPLS LSP. Sorry, show MPLS LSP. Yes. As you can see now, the LSP is chosen the next available path because we have the overload bit set. So now the LSP is going via this secondary path. Okay. So this is when the overload bit is set. So now we have completed a testing of overload bit. Next, we will check for the overload bit with high metric option. Let me quickly delete it. Okay, before that I will... Okay, now let me check the database now. Okay, now you can see the overload bit is cleared. 
So we have the, it was the overload bit was set. Now after deleting this, the overload bit is not there. Let us quickly check the LSP. I'm just clearing so that it will come up via R4. Then we can do the testing further. Yes. Okay. The second testing is so set protocol ISIS overload. You have an option of Advert High Metric. Okay. Once enable and commit it, let's see the database. Show ISS host name. Show ISS database. Okay. Now here you can see now there's no overload bit set. Even we have set a overload, but we have set high metric. So let me quickly review this. Show ISS database extensive yes here you can see now it's advertised the highest metric and i size for all the routes you can see that right for all the lsps that it is advertising it's advertising with the highest metric now so let me quickly verify the igp table for the r6 Okay, now what happened to the IGP table is because we are setting the highest metric, the IGP table is now pointing to the router tree. So as per the topology, so now the IGP Let me quickly just pick a pen. Yes. So what happened is now the IGP via R3 now. Okay. Let's quickly check the LSP now. LSP detail. Wow. Here you can see the main difference is the LSP is still is on 4.4 .4. it's quite interesting right when you have the is metric in igp so it will not take the lsp out of the network so only the igp is changed but the lsp is still still on r4 still through the r4 even the igp metric is high so in this case what you have to do is we have to manually push or clear the session for the LSP to reconvergence okay so you want to do that you can do it by doing it clear MPLS LSP optimize all so we are telling the LSPs go for the optimized path don't stay in the longer IGP path right so let me I'm done that show MPLS LSP now let me give the detail guys here you can see it is now via R3 so as per our topology now now both the IGP as well as the IGP as well as the RSVP via optimized path so the conclusion is when you have right conclusion from the testing is when the overload bit only the overload bit set so immediately igp slash the LSP channel change.
to the available next available path so in case if you don't have an available path then obviously the lsp will go down so when you have overload bit overload with it's not overload bit overload with high metric so what happened is igp converge to the west path but lsp if you don't have the optimized configure then you have to manually clear the or you can say manually clear the lsp or you can op, you can give a command the clear mpls use the optimize mpls lsp all so using this you can for the lsp to use the optimized path along with the igp so hope you guys have understanding the overload bit and how it works in isis and juniper routers so you guys can test it and if you like if you guys like this video you can do subscribe and like and comment thank you very much for watching